All right, good people of the internet. We are here today to fix one of the most annoying issues in Assassin's Creed Mirage, which is the chromatic aberration. Now, this is only for PC for very obvious reasons. You cannot do this shit on consoles. So please don't get angry in the comments. This is a fix for PC. So now, before I go further, I need to acknowledge how I know about this. So there so, is this mod called Disable Chromatic Aberration. Now this requires cheat engine. And so basically you, every time you open the game, you need to open the cheat table and you know, select the game. It's a, it's a whole thing, which if you have ever used cheat engine, you probably know what I talk, I'm talking about. But there is someone in here who has laid out the solution for us. And that guy is Sins7. Now, this guy gets all the credit. Not me, I didn't do shit, this guy did. So, his solution does work and today I'm here to tell you how, how exactly his solution is working. So the way his solution works is first, you need to copy this. And now, for this to work, you need a program called Hex Editor, which it's very easy to find guys. Just Google for it and it will probably be the first result that you get. So. Once you do that, now go there and open. And when you open, now I already did this process once, so the default directory is already in that Mirage uh, directory. So what you will do is select your Mirage EXE. Now, if you are using a Uplay Plus subscription or Ubisoft Connect Plus or whatever the subscription is called, you will need to select this EXE. But if you have bought the game, you need to select this EXE. So this is the one I am selecting because I bought the game. So then you need to open this. And if you're having trouble finding out where your EXE actually is, what you need to do is open up Uplay in Ubisoft Connect in Properties. When you okay, when you open Uplay, this, this is what you'll be greeted with. Select Mirage, go to Properties. This is your directory. Now, in my case, I literally just installed it in the default directory because I was going to play it on an SSD anyway. I don't give a shit. So this still works though. Don't worry about that. So this is where you will find your directory. This is where you will find your EXE. And now that you have found your AXE, you go back to hex edit, you select control F, which is basically just find. And if you, if that is too complicated, just click search, find, and make sure you're searching in hex values. It's very important. Don't search for text because this is not text. This is hex values. Now press the code that you copied before. This is the code. Press OK. And this is where you will find your code. Now. The only change here, now I, I will talk about this later as well, but the only change actually is changing this 00 to 01. So once I've selected this 00, I've clicked on this, just press 1 on your keyboard and then you will be able to save it. Now the first time when you do this, it will ask you for a confirmation and just give it the confirmation. Don't worry about it. It's not something, it's not a security risk or anything. And this doesn't affect the game in any negative way. I've already played it. So once you have done that, voila. Chromatic aberration is now no longer. So as you, you are probably seeing on your gameplay in the background right now, chromatic aberration is gone. And also as you saw in the beginning of the video in the gameplay, chromatic aberration wasn't there either. So this is how you get rid of chromatic aberration. And once again, thanks to this guy for pointing it out. And as you can see, the only difference was that 01. So it's literally just a binary <laughs> character that we need to change in the hex code. So, okay, not a binary character, a hexadecimal character. You know what? Just don't be pedantic about this shit, please. Anyway, <laughs> it's a hex code. So I'm assuming it's a hexadecimal character that we are changing. Anyway, that doesn't matter. You put the zero as one and your problem is solved. Anyway, if you find this helpful, uh, leave a like and, you know, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. And the one thing I would definitely tell you to do above everything else that I just said is go to this site, go to Nexus Mod, say thanks to this guy because this guy found the solution. Anyway, the, all that said, I will leave you guys in peace.